man. <laughs> no, it's just, my name is Nick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, yesterday we had a, uh, a session where we did um, Pete Hill Sprints, but they weren't really sprints. So, Nick, how would you describe that session? Yeah, the hill session was pretty good. Just um, just working on our leg power, I guess, bring the knee, bring the knee up. You go really slow, like. We coming from broken homes. My niggas still smoking cones, and bitches knowing all the songs. The rolling need frozen stones, and we be chopping all them phones like BT, and she ain't never found at home like ET. I be in the coldest zones. I fuck with a Rolex on. It was about what. Six six minutes per k. I didn't say six thirty. Yeah, like six six thirty per k. But my friend, the the pain you feel is serious. Sir. Well, the hills like let's say about what two hundred. You guys speak up, you. Two hundred meters. Yeah, yeah, two hundred meters. Just that that part we were doing. It was like two hundred like, meters inclines. Well, well, it's about fifty percent. I reckon fifty forty percent. Mm -hmm. I'm not going fast. Rolex. Yeah, the price too low. We ain't pulling up to that show. Nah, I'm rapping for the O, the CEO, and I got the shoes on go. Yeah. I made it time of money I ain't seen before. Paying out the Lord, trying to beat the law. It's 4 a.m. I might creep some more. Bad little bitch, you gon' freak some more. Yeah. We're like, literally, so how, how, how high you bring your legs up, that's how you're working. That's the workout, really. So if you don't really bring your legs up, you're not really working. But man, it's a serious workout. Got the altitude. Pace is slow, but you're still working. It feels like I'm doing sprints. We did about what, 10? Yeah, 10, 10. 20 minutes. Yeah, so it took us about 20 minutes to do 10 ones. Then we jogged there for about 2.5k, then jogged back for 2.5k. So a decent 6k workout, you'd say. Mm -hmm. yeah, 8k, about 8k. Mm. So, what was the most difficult part? Yeah, uh, the bar made a place for me. I'm running to the money impatiently. In a room full of niggas, you hate to me. Yeah, all I ever did is wait patiently. But I was never getting nothing done for me. We strapped on the body like dungarees. Wait, was it going up the hill or down the hill? Up in the yeah, I think, yeah, going up the hill was difficult, man. Of course, like. <laughs> of course, man. Like, going up is difficult, man. Like, coming down, it's, it's not difficult, but you're just trying to recover. That's a difficult part. Yeah, trying so, to recover, but this guy's going fucking. Oh. <laughs> so, this guy's going like 100 miles an hour down, man. <laughs> <laughs> Before you know it, you have to you have to go back up. No water, man. So you can't carry water. Yeah. It's like basically, what are you gonna put? You put it down. Someone steals it. You put it down. You get left behind. Yeah. You carry it. You get left behind. So yeah, like there's there's cows in your way. <laughs> <laughs> there's uh there's sheep in your way. There's kids with flipping pangas. Pangas basically a big knife. They're like chopping <laughs> um what's it the grass or something. Yeah. Yeah, so at least they didn't run next to us, man. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes they do that, and you're like, "Are you serious, man?" <laughs> no, man. Like, yeah, we're just doing what we do, man. That's a, that was just that was yesterday's session. Yeah, it's alright. It's different though. Like, I tell you that it's different. Yeah, and then okay. in the evening it was easy. No, we didn't. No, it was just we, chilled in the evening. Did it? Was it easy? Yeah, we did call, call. in the evening. Oh, yeah, shit, we did call. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Well, yeah, evening was <laughs> we'll call, man. Call. So. You wanna fight the kid and make love with me? Zone still lit. I ain't no drum still lit. Hey, you smoke a split. I smoke a zip. I tell them niggas get how you live. Yeah, you looking at your wrist. You well, last week we did eight minute plank, man. This week we went 12. <laughs> Nick led the led, led the session. We can show you some a few clips of that. Um, man, literally it's like one minute straight side, one minute side, one minute back, one minute, 12 minutes straight. Like for, so, you do that three sets. But obviously it's sets, but like there's no recovery in the sets, so you just keep changing. Um, then we do some other exercises, some swimming exercises. It's like, it's like, it's like you lift up, you just core. It's basically all core, man. All core. Yeah, man. Fly, fly looked like he wanted to slap someone. Man. <laughs> By the end of the plank, he was, hey, <laughs> his face was it, red, man. I don't know. No, man. <laughs> me because we did the last week, we did eight minutes with Timo, man. I was like, this guy, why is he leading? Because Nick is just leading it, man. He's not actually doing it, man. He's just showing you guys, all right, one minute here, <laughs> one minute there. So he's not actually doing the thing, but like, He's probably done it before, so he's had this pain. But there's another girl there. No, it's a woman, actually, man. Not even a girl. Just there. Like, easy, man. Easy. Making us look like rookies, man. <laughs> but yeah, man. She's got a stone face as well, huh? <laughs> like, her face doesn't change, man. You pull up on top of the depot, bro. You just see rocks there, man. Abs. That's it. That's it, man. The call is hard. Yeah.
when they see me like we went this one I stay with them yeah. and then they start to stop when the lady passed them they, they stop, stop. If, or if a muzungu passes yeah. they just stop they stop <laughs> they're, they're just going to the bush <laughs> Man, I saw people, the thing is, yeah, I saw people coming out of bushes, man. You know that, you know the maize, the maize farms? Yeah. Everyone's coming down to the far, like I see them coming out of the, out of yeah, the maize thing. Yeah, for example, man. some of the kids were coming to watch, they'll, they'll join for a bit. Man, <laughs> I saw people jumping, like five people coming out of the, the maize when, farm. When I'm a single person, mm. a headache. <laughs> <laughs> My finger. You know, it's even the lady's first, so it's like... No way. no way! No way! But this is the mentality. Mentality, yeah. It's training. Yeah. Nice, yeah. man. You know this Mozongo, so everything is time. Quick, quick, quick. He has to go on that. Uh, he, yeah, he told me he has to see someone at six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, you, you say you. Yeah. How, how do you say your, your name? Mummy's going to have a pancake tonight. <laughs> Tomorrow morning. <laughs> you see me on the table there. <laughs> Okay, good luck. <laughs> so, so how, how long are you, are you going to be in Italy? My rest is Sunday and then I stay like two days and then I go back home. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You go back home to Israel? Yeah. Oh. We have Kala on December 24th, so I am the update of the Oh, is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so then you stay there and then compete in Europe in the winter or no? No, I will not compete. I will compete in Europe. Congratulations with winning the gold in the 10,000 meter. Are you happy? I'm really happy and I'm really excited. <laughs> what was your plan? My plan is to win gold, so there is nothing else. <laughs> and was it a difficult race? The difficult race was it was really humid and the feel was really strong. So and when did you decide to make a move? I decide because I see if I will not move it, maybe they will leave me in the last kilometer. So this is what this was my it's tactic. <laughs> so um, yes, my hill session over here. When when he said hill sprints, I was quite excited because obviously you know in the UK I always like to bang the hill sprints with the athletes. I hate you know, but um, I knew it was a different type of hill sprints, hill sprints because it's at the start of the week and if the load is at the start of the week you know it's gonna be a tough session. Anyway, I, I was not wrong. As soon as we got there, my friend over here behind the camera, um, the one who's full of stories and Mr. Nick's stories, he goes welcome to Kenya and I was thinking why would he say that? I looked down this hill and I was like wow, okay. It's not, it's not like I haven't seen steep hills but it just looks long, it just looks long. Even the trees are, are holding on to, to stand up straight so the, the incline is deep. We started the first one, it was okay, I, I stayed behind him. But one thing he said is like, move easy and just pick up your feet. And I know that that is not the most efficient way to go up hills. Um, in a race, I wouldn't do that, but we're trying to get the form and the flexion of the ankle and obviously to get our quad strong. And um, did the first two, three reps with him. And after that, I was off pace, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've never felt so much pain. Going downhill was painful, going uphill was painful. Even one of the kids on the side asked me what's wrong with my leg. I said, nothing wrong with my leg. Going up, I was probably going up pretty much almost the same pace as these guys, but coming down the hill, I don't know, my quads couldn't take it, man. It's just painful. But um, yeah, it just, it makes sense to me why Kenyans do everything slowly unless they need to go fast. Because, like I said, the terrain is difficult. The climate is difficult. The altitude is difficult. We were, we were sl slipping, it rained the night before. So, um, yeah, you just have to take it easy and make sure you finish it. I don't think I did 10, you guys did 10. I think I did about, I think I did about eight or seven. And then we jogged back. And then they said, ah, oh, easy, polo, polo. That means slow pace on the way back. I was in slow, bro. The last four, eight, eight, four to 600 meters, you guys are picking up like, like no one business. I'm there wheezing and they're using my wheezing as, as the cue to go faster. They're going faster and faster. And I was thinking, what's going on here? Like, we meant to be going easy. I'm, I even stopped, I had cramp. These guys are just, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, their slow is not necessarily, necessarily my slow, but and it's not about me, it's about them. So I just try and hang in there and, and offer a bit of um, moral support. So um, yeah, that's it. We've obviously, like I said, um, we did the far look today. I filmed that. You guys, I try and have that content out for you guys as soon as possible. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, the way some of the girls were moving there. Yeah, nothing to say about that, but 
Even a girl that is doing a Andrew Mears is banging out P people who's running like 148. So imagine what she can run if she decides to go for a longer rep. Um, so yeah, that content will be out for you guys on the 25th. Um, in the meanwhile, I'm going to put out the English schools video and then put out the interviews we did the other day. I heard you guys want to see more interviews about how it's like to be here. So, you know, it is what it is. And um, I'll let you know how it was at the school. The way some of these girls were running bare feet, boys. These are eight, nine, ten year, year, year olds. Man, I, I, I can't, can't say nothing, but I keep saying it. It's the culture. It's not about people training, banging mileage here. It's just the culture and the way they live their life here is what makes them become so good at what they do if they decide to do running. Because not everyone here actually believes that running is good for them. The way out is actually education, not running. But um, peace out. And please, if you haven't um, subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're looking for 10 more subs. I know Nick just added one there, so we're on 550. We need 560. Take care. Gang.